Right, time for a test of the gadget no driver should be without, a Bluetooth hands-free kit. We've enlisted the help of technology queen Susie Perry to help decide which unit most deserves your hard-earned cash. I've got a question for you. Oh, go on. How many countries do you think it's illegal to drive whilst using your phone? Well, obviously the UK. Yep. I don't know. Do you want to uh, have a guess? 30? 52. It's a lot. Mm, I know. I didn't even think there was that many countries in the world. <laughs> So, mm. we've got our test today is going to find out or help all those drivers in those 52 countries avoid going to jail. Excellent. Bluetooth hands-free kits allow you to legally take phone calls whilst driving and come in two styles. Some go in your ear and some attach to your car's sun visor. We've got 20 of the most popular models, but which is best? First, we're going to whittle them down by getting rid of any that take too long to connect to your phone. Three, two, one, go. OK. This is your volume here, volume control, touch control. What, you just rub it? Yeah. How sexy is that? It's all right. Some would only work when plugged into your car cigarette lighter. You've got to be in the car, haven't you, to pair this up? Oh, so it only works off the electric yeah. in the car? Yeah. Well, that's crap. Try that one. And some were so complicated that we didn't get them working at all. This is taking a while, isn't it? The trouble is, I mean, with these kind of things, you don't want to have to read the instructions, you just want to press go, don't you? Here are the top five fastest. In joint fourth were the Jawbone Icon HD and Jabra Drive. In third was the Super Tooth Crystal. The Plantronics M50 came in second. The fastest of all, and therefore our favourite so far, was the Parrot Minikit Smart. Now that we've found the five fastest bits of kit, it's time to whittle them down to a final pair. So we thought we'd come up with a little test to find out how easy they are to use when you're driving. Exactly. While I'm razzing around this slalom, Susie's going to call me for a quick chat. Hello? <laughs> I'll mark each device out of ten, depending on ease of use, and the top two will go through to a head-to-head -head final. Oh, she's ringing. There we go. All right. Our first test was with this, the Jawbone Icon HD. Hello. Ah, good. You answered, so you heard it. You heard it ringing. Very simple to use. Very intuitive. The but there's a tiny button on the back, which is a bit fiddly, but you know you'd get used to it. Out of ten, shall I score that? Seven. Didn't that's fair. Seven sounds fair to me. Super Tooth Crystal. Looks. Not great. We found it quite difficult to attach. It not fit very well. And he found it pretty tricky to use. If I try and adjust it, I've got to take my eyes properly off the road. Out of ten? Two. Just the normal day's driving for him. We loved the intuitive layout of this Jabber Drive, the fact that it's got a big button so it's really easy to press. Ah, see, now that's easy to answer, but it's very quiet. However, we were quite disappointed by the sound quality. I'm going to give that a four. OK. The Plantronics M50 claims to block noise and wind, and we found that it did it pretty well. Talk dirty to me! I'm not going to talk dirty to you. <laughs> this is a family <laughs> show. <laughs> sound quality was very good, both for Jason and for myself. <laughs> I definitely think these inner ear ones are better. So out of ten, I like that. I think it's six, out of ten, seven. The Parrot Mini Kit Smart, our only docking device, and for that reason, I thought that Jason would really like it. However, by having your phone up there, yeah. it does make you want to look at it. Ah, this isn't a good thing. No, that's not. What about ease of use then? If it was a bumpy road, you could occasionally knock a button and maybe terminate the call when you were trying to change the volume. So, for those reasons... Five. OK, right. I think we've got our final two. I think we do. The Plantronics M50 and Jawbone Icon HD. Time for the grand finale. Right, we're both going to drive down this runway at 100 miles an hour with the roofs off. I am going to say a phrase to Jason. He's going to say a phrase back to me. We'll compare notes at the end, see if we heard each other correctly. First up, the Plantronics. We'll each wear the same device, and we're starting with the cheap one. 100 miles an hour in a cabriolet is as tough a test as they'll ever face. Susie, are you there? Yes, I can hear you. 
Over the course of a lifespan of a human, yeah. how much hair do they grow out of their nose? No idea. Four foot. <laughs> That's disgusting. Both of us could pretty much hear what each other was saying when we were flat out at 100 miles an hour. Yeah, really good. Good bit of kit. Highly recommended. We then tested the Jawbone Icon HD. What's the longest chicken flight ever recorded? The what? The longest chicken flight ever recorded. I can't hear. Really? I can totally hear you. I can't hear. I mean, I know it's that kind of time of the day when men switch off, but genuinely, I couldn't hear anything Susie was saying she's coming in to whack me. <laughs> Might be your hair, you know, wafting on it. So the winner of today's test is the Plantronics M50. A triumph for the cheaper device. The Plantronics M50 is 20 quid well spent.